Hello, I'm Gareth. And I'm Shane. And welcome to Building Business Resilience. This is a podcast from Sanctuary Financial Planning, which helps growth business owners and social media influencers achieve financial independence. We're two passionate financial planners on a mission to seek out new ideas, tips and tricks to help you take control of your finances and run better businesses. We delve into the true goals and aspirations of our guests in order to provide you with some real value and positivity. Nothing outrageous, clear, simple, solid financial solutions. We also have a YouTube series to accompany this and details will be at the end of the show. So let's move on to our guest. Welcome back to the Building Business Resilience Show. It's episode 16, and this is Chats at the Bar, the one about controlling the controllable. Each week, we'll start off with a quote from somebody. And the first one's from uh, Ben Bergeron. In no competitive or life scenario will focusing on the negative, uncontrollable factors improve your performance or stress levels. It's an interesting one, Shane. What do you think of that one? Yeah, it's it's, um, it's unusual. Um, the last few months with um, the bars closed, um, John, his words of wisdom at the end of the bars, probably um, people are probably missing him. What what you hear a lot probably from the likes of John and other people is when billions have been wiped off the stock market um, and how it's a negative world out there but you never hear John coming back I suppose telling how a day or a month later how these billions have been wiped back on and we all know that all sorts of investments are like being on a roller coaster there's ups and downs and there's big ups and downs and there's small ups and downs but what we do know is that in the world of planning for the future through investments pensions that the the starting point of the roller coaster will be lower than the the finish point as in over time it will be a, at a higher finish and i suppose the only thing that we as humans are able to control is our reaction or our response to all of these things going on and nothing else i I, th- I think you're right you know people people overly focus on the way stock markets perform and you you see it all the time negative events world service they publicize it all the time you know john probably jumps on that but you know we can't control what the great companies of the world are doing but one thing we do know is they are they're trying to make a profit they're not they're not they're purposely trying to lose money kind of is what it is and if we look at history you know it'll it'll tell us if we sit still sit on our hands and just kind of take our time and have a positive mindset on it you know think things will come good the hardest thing to do not just i suppose in finance but in a lot of things is doing nothing it's a very very difficult uh, thing to do but we have seen over the history of the world, as you said, companies make profits. Now, there may be times in which they, the profits go down. But if you look back at the history, they will come good. Everyone has peaks and troughs. You know, the great companies of the world, the, the Amazons, the Coca-Colas, the uh, Apples and all that, some quarters are bad. But you know what? Over the longer term, these companies make more and more and more money and people invest in them and people know that they're buying into them because the cost of what they're selling is always going up in price and so they make more money. John needs to realise that billions can be wiped off things overnight, but on the other side, billions can be wiped back on it again and it's a fear factor with people. If you don't have all of the information, people need to be in full receipt of all of the facts before making the decision and do they can't be making decisions based on john at the end of that bar telling people how bad things are because that's a snapshot of time we need to look at things over uh, many many weeks months years and what has been set up originally as a plan as a goal as a um something to achieve will be right from day one factoring in i suppose all of the ups and downs as you said, negative events, world world service. People need to stop listening to the noise during that specific time. Yeah, no, I, it, it's some good points, Shane. You know, I, I, I totally agree. And uh, and as humans, we we naturally focus on the negative things we can't control. It is human nature. If we can just shift that mindset a little bit, though, and kind of control what we can control rather than what we can't, you know, think things will will be a lot easier. I know it's not easy, but you know, let's let, take an extreme example. You know, people moan about the weather you know we, we, we can't control we can't control what the weather does even the weatherman can't get it right we know that they never have done you know I, i've i've seen um you know on the news before where they say you know it's lovely and sunny outside you look outside it's actually snowing you know they, they can't even get it right so 
if it really is such a big thing in your life, the weather is so bad, move. Go somewhere where it's warmer. That might be an extreme view, but one thing you can control is where you live, but you can't control what the weather's like. Take, take another aspect of it. You know, we talked to Fergus Connolly some, some weeks ago. Um, the world of sport. People train all week for a specific game. They plan all the scenarios um, for what can happen if this, this and this. And then some sports person, be it a, a rugby player, an American footballer, a footballer, whatever it may be, does this moment of magic or moment of madness, but it, it works out and wins the game for that team. Now, as a coach, I suppose you can't just say, be down about what just has happened because you had no control over that. You planned for every eventuality, but not for that moment of genius or that moment of madness by one of the team. The only thing that we're able to control is how we react to that for the following week and um, change our our planning and and that's it yeah, that, that's that's a great example you know and and so many people kind of think that you know they they hang on the things the news say the natural disasters out there you know the things happening in the economy but we, we can't control those but they, there's lots of things we can control you know especially in the middle of this downturn we've been in COVID-19 you know you can start a business you know you you can you can choose how you work going forward you can choose what you read you know what you learn you know how you're going to lead all those things you can you can kind of control but there's lots of things you can't control i i've got a good one i can't control when um was it the six nations a few years ago when uh the one ball went out and mike phillips got a different ball and threw it in and yes. um and wales uh, went on to win the game and uh, mike cheated um but i couldn't control it the only thing i could control is um how how many lagers i drank with that evening that night but these things happen you know going back to the example the irish team probably accounted for all eventualities what if this happens what if that happens they didn't account for that and they couldn't control it and uh, as a consequence of that um a score went the wrong way a team won but that wasn't um anything that anyone could control it's a great win though <laughs> cheated Mike Phillips you cheated <laughs> oh, I don't know I think it's, I, I call it gamesmanship I think I think I think that's what we'll call it but it is it is true there there are so many things that happen in life that you have no control over it's going back to what we said if you have a plan that has been set up for anything let's not talk about finance let's go generic if that plan has been set up for a specific purpose and things happen in the future you don't need to change it potentially because if if something is going wrong in the world you just have to be very brave and realize that it's just something that is happening and what was set up originally or what you decided to do originally was still correct in the future and your behavior has to be um to do nothing you need to control your reaction or your response to that situation and do nothing. So that covers controlling the controllable. Tune in each Tuesday for our insight into money, finance, aspirations, dreams, and lifestyle financial planning. You can hear that wherever you get your podcasts. Please don't forget to click subscribe to all the latest episodes as soon as they arrive. Also, if you're enjoying the series, please do leave us feedback with quick review as that helps us grow and ensure that we're giving the audience the best experience. None of the content of the chats at the bar constitute financial advice. If you need financial planning advice, please contact us using the details in the show notes or emailing planning at sanfp.co.uk. Alternatively, contact another suitably qualified financial planner. Just ensure that they have your best interests at heart and one that listens to your needs and not that of a product provider. What I mean is don't just let them sell you an investment. Planning is far more than that. Until next time, thanks for listening.